What's going on YouTube? It's your boy D-Ray, and I'm joined by John C. Riley from Jacetown Studios. Today we're going to be talking about scuff controllers and modded controllers overall in general. Um, what are your thoughts on them? Should they be allowed in League Play slash competitive Call of Duty or competitive anything for that matter? So sit back, listen, and enjoy the show, and YouTube, I'll see you later. Like before, like before we get into the details and stuff right there, like, you know, how long have they been around? You know? uh, I know they've been years. around at least a couple of years because they sponsor a couple of the uh, MLG, uh, like, Black Ops teams. And I know they've been sponsoring these guys since, like, uh, I want to say before Black Ops 1. So I know they've been around for a little while now. So it's not like they're new. They've definitely been around and in the scene for, uh, I want to say, at least two years. They've been in the business. Yeah, so... There ain't no spring chicken yeah, around these, here in this black this is, ops This is like party. the major leagues as far as uh, controllers and or modded controllers go, as far as I'm aware of. So, Now, speaking of that, that's the one issue that we are talking about right here because it's it's not like I know that a lot of companies out there, you know, uh, besides Scuff Gaming, they offer customized controllers right here. The look, the feel, grips, and everything right here. But Scuff does all that stuff, plus also creates modded controllers. Modded controllers, meaning it gives you kind of like a, a bigger advantage in there. Right. So that's the kind of weird thing that we were kind of talking about uh, before we started recording. It's because it's it's a blessing and a curse. Like, you know, uh, I believe that, you know, it's my own personal opinion and stuff right here, that if you need any performance-enhancing uh, additions or mods inside a console game, then it's kind of like cheating in some more or less. It's almost like you're, uh, you're hacking it or you're... Uh, uh, well, what, what do you call that inside when people are cheating inside Black Ops in a console game? It's, uh, the, uh, it's not a troll, but it's like, you know, they got a lag yeah. switch or anything yeah. like that. No, it's I, like... I feel it the same way, and, the, and a lot of people say, oh, what's not a modded controller, this, that, and the other thing. Well, uh, personally for me, anything that's not the stock controller that comes with your console, I would consider modded. Not saying you can't go out and buy something that's got like a cool paint job or, you know, it's it's wired or anything like that. Cause yeah, that exactly, doesn't, that's customization. Right, that doesn't affect the actual gameplay. There's a fine line between customization and modification. Right, and for me, modification so like, is something know, and that, you know, uh, and, and with Scuff, they have the, um, you can get two or four paddles on the back of the controllers. I think with their new hybrid controller, you can get four paddles on the back, and uh, you can actually program the paddles to do different stuff, uh, like... Like hockey. Right, well, pretty much like, like hockey. Like right? you can have one of the paddles be X or circle or triangle or square or whatever. So you never have to really take your fingers off the joysticks, and you can still either you know drop shot like lay down and shoot, or you can jump jump around oh. a corner and shoot. You know stuff like that that you would normally have to take your finger off the aiming stick to you know move your thumb over to X or uh, I think it's what A on on. Uh, Xbox, you know, to jump off to the side to do a jump shot like that, or, you know, whatever. So, for me, for you not to have to move your thumbs off of the joysticks at all, and you can just use your fingers to, you know, do the motions that other people can't do, that, for me, is what I would consider a modded controller. Yeah, like, you know, I would definitely benefit from this, because I'm not at your level when it comes to Black Ops, so definitely give me an event to other people. And it's definitely frowned upon, probably, and, like, you know, and just regular gaming against other people right there, but like, you know, also, what we consider about it as far as, you know, it's, it's kind of like uh, the baseball hit with all those different people, especially A-Rod being out for like 220 right. games because performance enhancing stuff, using steroids. But the one thing is, here's the problem right here. Yes, people are starting to use it a lot and stuff right here, but the thing is, if the professional uh, MLG players are all using this, you almost have to use these modded, you almost have to use assistance on modded controllers just to stay uh, uh, up to right, everybody else's level inside there, because if you're a really good game, yeah, exactly, stay, that's perfect, exactly what I was thinking about, because uh, in order for you to stay competitive, you actually have to go with everybody else, it's unfortunate that everybody is just, this is the norm that we're going to be doing and stuff, so it's like, what the fuck, man, it's like, like, uh, if, uh, like me being working in audio and stuff right here, I'm glad that, like, you know, I'm pretty sure it's out there and prevalent inside the audio production world as far as using auto-tune 
a whole lot right here. Auto tune used correctly is there to create help help people if they can't hit high notes or any, anything like that. But it's used so prevalent and stuff right here, and giving people who have no talent the ability to match up with people who actually can right. sing. That is kind of like the similar thing that we're talking about with this game. So it's just it's sad that it's it's come down to that, but it's the only way that people can actually compete and stuff. So yeah, exactly. And like I have no problems like um. I'd buy one and use one just for the fact that it's wired, you know, but I wouldn't really want to have I mean, I can't say I wouldn't because I know if I was gonna spend 120 bucks I would probably do it legit and get the ones with the paddles on it so I could do the jump shots and stuff like that you know? Yeah, why not just go all out because at, a, at that price at $120 and up It's just you know, you might as well just spend the extra what like 30 40 50 dollars because right now the, at the link that you're showing me and as far as the uh, the Scuff Radioactive Zombie for PS, right here, it's about $120 inside there, but it's fully customization, kind of like a MIDI yep. controller, like uh, that you get out in there, like you know, people producing music inside Tractor or Ableton, Ableton, whatever you call it, and stuff right here. They can do customized controllers and stuff right there that look like arcade joist, uh, arcade right. buttons, right here. That's the kind of stuff. This is kind of like the way I've seen it and stuff because removable rumble packs. Paddle color design, you know, uh, protection cases, just everything right here. You want to make sure that the left paddle right here, you can customize it anywhere. Uh, left paddle, right paddle, color, uh, color packs, just, just yep. anything to make Check your own extenders. thing right here. So if you have the money to burn, it's a great, it's a great buy. But the thing is, you got to think about it. You're giving yourself an also uh, an unbelievable advantage right here. And I would say, in my own opinion, I wouldn't buy it unless you're actually playing professional or you're in. Like yourself, you're in league play right, right here. So, that, but the thing is, now do you think that a lot of competitions, like you know, other than like outside of MLG or like local competitions or anything like that, like Team Spooky, how do you feel about like if, if Team Spooky or like uh, Phase, Phase or Optic? Do you think that these guys use that too? Uh, I'm pretty sure that they they all use them, and I know it's allowed at MLG, and I want to say it's allowed at every event. And I'm not 100% sure if they use the controllers with the paddles on the back or if they just use them because it's the wired controllers and you don't have to sync in with the, the Xboxes and stuff for the LAN events. That I'm not 100% sure of. I've never actually, like, you know, looked at their controllers while they're playing. But I know they use Scuff, so... Hey, I'm victory. 250 to 144, that's insane. You know, it's kind of funny that, uh, it, just to end it off on the conversation, it's kind of funny. It's almost like getting a uh, machine gun to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex is already dangerous enough, but if you're giving a machine gun to him right here with his little tiny T-Rex arms, you're just making him more dangerous and stuff, like a really good professional player like yourself, and then moving on to giving him more uh, more mods as far as being able yeah, to move I, it that I, way. So I, that's pretty much yeah, all I have to say. Yeah, a huge advantage, and you know, some of these guys are even sponsored through uh, Scuff Gaming itself, so that's, you know... That's why I know they're allowed at professional events because, you know, some of these guys are sponsored through this company. So, you know, it's like if the pros are using yeah. it, you know, it, it's just like, you know, you almost have to at some point. I guess so. I guess that's the norm now. That's the way we're going with the competitive uh, first-person shooter games. So I guess what will be I next? guess we'll find out you know? in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts what's, what's next in the future for us there. Interesting, interesting. Great way to end the uh, the video show. How, uh, what would you call this? Would you call this a video cast? Would you call it a show? Would you call? I it think a we were just we were commentators on that one. We did a pretty good job. Oh, definitely. So yeah. what, what, mm -hmm. actually, why don't you guys let that. us know in the comments down below? Let us know what you think about the the scuff controllers. Not just scuff in general, because that's like one of the big ones. But I know that there's different companies that make different stuff, like rapid fire mods, all that stuff. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the different modded controllers. Should like if you're a professional gamer, should you be allowed to use that stuff, or should you have to use just like stock controllers like everybody else does? Or, you know, should you be allowed to get the advantage and use the Mahdi controllers? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys go check out Jace Down Studios on YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. At, at, Jace yeah, Down. at Jace Down. And what, what do you got going on for uh, uh, some of your video series right now? I know you're doing a Minecraft, right? Yep, working on the Minecraft, trying to build my neighborhood right now. It's a small, big project. It's, it's a dream with big aspirations. We're trying to build it up, so we're trying to be accurate as, as possible inside the neighborhood, along with the uh, commuter rails into Boston, 
uh, bars, restaurants, Elks Lodges, apartment complexes, everything right there, and then hopefully being able to port it over to a server and allowing people maybe turning it into a PvP or maybe just a place where everybody can explore and just kill zombies and shit. Just imagine, like, you know, uh, zombies in the North Shore. It'd just be, uh, it'd be killer. Also, um, just trying to work out with new video game capture software as far as fraps and uh, a lot of different ones that are actually available, uh, moderately priced. And also, uh, I would definitely think it's not worth it to get the demo because literally you can only uh, record for 30 right. seconds. But, you know, definitely right here because a lot of the professionals as far as video capturing, which is my, my business as far as production, you know, I'm just trying to find that next step, the, the next way to produce videos and stuff to help out uh, – all my uh, all my friends out there on YouTube. All right, cool. So. Yeah, so if you guys are into any kind of zombie stuff or any uh, – not zombie, sorry, <laughs> Minecraft stuff or anything like that, check him out. That's what he's doing right now. And if you guys know of any good uh, – Daily uh, blogs. Daily blogs, too. And if you guys know of any good capturing softwares that maybe we haven't heard of, uh, I know we both use XSplit. That's getting a little bit, uh, like, ran out in my opinion right now, so I don't think I'm using that anymore. And with you uh, switching it up, trying to find something else, I think you might be done with XSplit for a while, too. Am I correct? Uh, XSplit for right now, just for the Minecraft stuff, but checking out fraps and all that stuff, because I used to do everything in XSplit where it's like picture in picture, like camera in the corner, video cache right there yep. on the screen, trying to get the highest quality bit rate possible, and everything right here, but, uh, just trying to see if I can switch it up where I'm recording webcam separately from the game footage, and then doing a picture in picture inside, like Adobe Premiere, or another video uh, editing software suite, because, uh, I've just... I see a lot of great guys out there doing some great videos, and I'm just – I ask myself, how are they doing right. that? What, what, that's, that's the way I've always been. There's been a lot of great people out there to help me out on my road and to try to make better videos. Shout out to Man vs. Game and then Brian Brushwood of uh, Scam School. Uh, just, they'll probably never see this video, but definitely check those guys out. Man vs. TV. Man vs. TV. Man vs. Game on Twitch.tv. And, of course, ScamSchool.com right here. Host of NSFW and Frame Rate on Twitch.tv. Sweet. So, yeah, like I said, if you guys got any suggestions besides XSplit, please don't a thousand people comment XSplit. We know. We use that. Something besides XSplit. Yeah, don't yeah. say fraps, fraps, yeah, fraps, don't say fraps, fraps, fraps. We got that. We use that. We both have Elgados, so don't suggest that. That's what we use for capturing for games and stuff. So anything besides those three, if you guys do something. And don't you fucking <laughs> dare. Don't you fucking dare say yeah. hot pong. Fuck yeah, you, don't even bother because I'll just unsubscribe from your channel if you say that on mine. You're done. You lose me forever. No more. No more giveaways. No more fun stuff. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to be doing some more series with Jace Town Studios, John C. Riley. So stay tuned. Probably some more this week, if not this week, then something over the weekend and next week. So make sure you guys check that out, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.